Hello, beautiful soul. This is Kirsten, and it has been one hell of a week. <laughs> I can't tell you where to even begin. And I know we all have them. We all have those weeks that just knock us flat on our bums. And at the end of it, we say, what the hell happened there? And we just feel defeated or deflated or knocked off course. And for me, I'll be honest, this week was that week. It started with a expensive car repair, uh, a couple of events I planned where the attendance wasn't what I wanted or expected to just having everything spiral in a way that left me feeling just ugh. And on top of it, as you can tell, I have this lovely cold, so there you go. I've just been going through boxes of Kleenex and boxes of Kleenex, and I just have felt a shell of who I really am, to be honest. And so I wanted to talk to you about how we move from this place, this place of just wanting to hide under the covers and sob, which would have been me yesterday, to finding light in our life and finding hope. And one of the things that for me, when I look at things not happening the way I want them to, I realize that I may not be open to receiving things in my life. I am, and most women I know, are givers. I mean, we just need someone to help. Hey, it's me. It, you want someone to bake stuff for the bake sale? Me. You have a friend who's really upset. Your empathy and compassion and kindness just flow out of you so naturally. And we give and we give and we give, but we suck at receiving. Whether it be a compliment or even a gift of kindness, or we think we can be independent, we can do it ourselves, we don't need help, um, or even receiving abundance in the form of a relationship or money or opportunities. And for me, one of the lessons that I've been working on for, oh my goodness, we'll just say a long time now, is to be a better receiver. And while I was in this guck and feeling deflated, um, into my inbox came a newsletter from Robert Holden, who is a life coach. And I follow him, so I get his newsletter. And I am always, even though I know it happens, I'm still always amazed and astonished, I'm getting teary-eyed here, that the divine provides us with the answers that we need through a conversation or an email. And for me, it was an email from Robert Holden. And it was about moving into a place of being more receptive. And so I've been putting into practice the last couple days um, this thought, this affirmation. Today, I will be a better receiver. So that's my thought when I wake up in the morning. Today, I will be a better receiver. That's what Mr. Holden recommends as our affirmation. And then think about ways that I can be a better receiver. I can uh, be a better receiver by surrendering and letting the divine take the lead and not trying to control everything to the point of, you know, suffocating it. I can be a better receiver by accepting a compliment with a thank you. I can be a better receiver by enjoying the moments that are given to me that are unexpected, whether it be a beautiful maple tree or a dove sitting on my deck. Or this week, the unexpected was the gift of having my children home for dinner on a Thursday night, which isn't happening lately. So just being open and saying, today I will be a better receiver and thinking about how I can be a better receiver. And then I go through my day and at the end of the day, I reflect on what I received during this day. And Mr. Holden says it starts as a trickle, and then you will see the momentum build. And so I wanted to share with you my trickle. And because I've been doing this for a couple of days, and I think it's brilliant. And it makes me more aware of the gifts I received. And therefore, it makes me 
dwell less on the things that are lacking or when things don't work out the way I want them to work out. So just give me a second. I'm going to grab my journal. And if you see me leaking over here, it's because I'm reading. But this was what I wrote last night for um, being a better receiver. I started out with my affirmation. Today I will be a better receiver. I thought of ways that I could be a better receiver. And this is what I received. Okay, here we go. The gift of kindness and compassion from my friend Colette, who called me when she knew I was having like the worst possible day after something I thought was simply going to be magnificent didn't pan out. A gift of an unexpected dinner with my girls. I don't get that very much anymore because they're busy and in high school and I grab onto that because hearing their stories and their laughter and connecting to them is the greatest abundance I can have. Um, I got a compliment on my big poncho sweater. Woohoo! It was cold here in Minnesota. Uh, the gift of help from somebody who was working with me on some college funding issues with my children. Uh, the gift of my ex-husband helping with our financial um, dance fees more than I anticipated or expected, which is always a gift. The gift of helping others. I got the gift to help others yesterday. I bought some candy bars from some cute little boys at my front door who were selling them. And then I gave those candy bars to my daughters. And so I gave the gift, received the gift of helping others and the gift of giving to others. So yeah, candy bars all around. Um, the gift of knowledge. There was a free training that's coming up on copywriting, and I signed up from Marie Forleo. She is the queen of copywriting, and so I'm working on that. And so there was this beautiful gift to sign up for this free training, so I took that. And then finally, the gift of beauty. And so I received the gift of beauty with all the beautiful fall leaves, and the maples are here are so gorgeous. So if you find yourself having a day, or if you found yourself having many days, or if you're like me and you're not in the place you want to be in a relationship or a job or a career and you just feel that some things are not panning out and you just keep trying things new and new and new and you can't figure out why you're not gaining any momentum and you feel stuck, take my advice and listen to Robert Holden and begin your day with the affirmation, today I will be a better receiver. Secondly, think about ways that you can be a better receiver. They don't have to be, as my list shows, related to money. They can be related to receiving help, receiving gifts of knowledge, gifts of kindness or compassion or connection with others. And finally, at the end of the day, you don't have to write it down. I just like to keep track because I love to see how things unfold. But reflect on what gifts you received today. And as I am learning, it may start out as a trickle, but I know it's going to gain momentum and the spigot's going to flow like I have never, ever envisioned. So this is Kirsten wishing you joy, light, love, and peace. Have a brilliant day.